first time chat an anarch anarchy d anarchy d random question do you think that the transition from social democracy to neoliberalism was inevitable social democracy to neoliberalism was inevitable i'm going to continue reading your thing while i think about that because of the oil crisis and the fall of the profit rate in the real economy um okay there's a lot there i'm going to continue reading your thing let's see where it goes did it have to die as it was unsustainable and was financialization necessary so as to give capital a profitable place to be invested in can mmt modern monetary mmt modern monetary theory i, was, I thought it was supposed to be p, modern monetary theory or post uh, keynesianism maybe revive social democracy or is there just not enough money in the real economy to sustain capitalism my god that's a lot there right um no i don't think social democracy uh it's end game inevitable to become neoliberalism no uh, profit regarding profit because you had a couple of statements there regarding profit the problem with our current economic system is uh and our anarch anarchy is that they've monetized right quantified as much as they can and there are things in this life that they haven't been able to give value to monetize yet right so they've monetized being unhealthy but they haven't monetized being healthy right they've monetized um, productivity in terms of pro producing material goods or uh, coming up with ideas where you can implement something and make fiat currency but they haven't been able to monetize or incorporate into the equations where you spend time building your community right that really shows later one of the other problems with our modern monetary theory uh, is it thinks short term and that's the way our politicians think then that's the way a lot of people think right geopolitics is decided the way the governments uh, behave themselves on the global stage is based on not a five-year plan or a two-year plan but on a 10-year plan 20-year plan 50-year plan right they have the five year in place and one year in place but those are just stepping stones they're easily changeable right but politicians when they come into office they can get into office promise all the shit usually don't deliver too much of it right they lie through their teeth to get into office and then they do whatever they want to do right to make money for their wealthy donors or people who control them their puppet masters right and they're out of office in five years or ten years or some are the pro one of the other problems with our society some of our career politicians have never held a job outside of politics and they're supposed to be civil servants but they're not they're serving themselves and their puppet masters and their puppet masters happen to be corporations and why do they do this because whenever they're out of government they know they got a cozy job with our stock shops and such the corporations right so there's a lot of things that you mentioned uh, here but i think the root problem with what's going on is corruption lack of trans um, uh, transparency and complete lack of accountability if we can have 100 percent transparency if any system any person any individual any organization has power in society then there needs to be transparency right so one of the first things we need to implement in our societies is transparency of power right once we have transparency of power then we need to back that up with accountability of power right capital less power we should call it right so to deal with what you're saying the ideal system would be we need transparency and accountability of capital as power 
right which is why when I set up the that uh, night bot message that pops up every 15 minutes on our chat and I read it as often as I can during our live stream why we have to work towards freeing Julian Assange right where we basically state that we have to free Julian Assange we have to free Julian Assange we have to free Julian Assange why because Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity right once we have that we have a society for the people that works for all of humanity not just a select few 